Hello everyone, rat trapping tips again on the 12th of November 2022. So, this customer is a past customer of mine and now he's got me back again because he recently saw a rat running across his deck here. So, and we know from past trapping here that they like get under this deck. Look at the blackberry patch there. Huh? Anywhere on the west coast of North America where there's a blackberry patch like that and it goes right down the hill to the ocean. Solid blackberry. Anywhere with this blackberry patch like that you're gonna get a rat problem in the surrounding areas. So, so anyways we found out that the rats here prefer to get in under here and <laughs> They were originally getting into the crawl space, but we sealed up the door and now they hang around outside. So I've just been down here. So that guy I caught in that trap. See right against the wall, they like to go down, come in through there and go down the wall here. So I just removed that guy from that trap, reset it. I've got this little uh, magnum, I call them magnum mouse trap. I put the spikes in them and these mouse traps have two springs so they're extra powerful. They will pull a rat quite easily, especially a rat that size. That's just a small rat. Not even barely half grown. More like it's about a third grown. So there's been a, there's a family of them around here somewhere. And I uh, just took a mouse out of one of these Victor electric traps with the wireless signal in it. Um, they do work, but I certainly wouldn't depend on them. So now we're just going through this. I had to go back to the car to get some poison because we decided to put a poison box in here as well as the traps, just as a backup. <clears throat> so they can't get into this crawl space anymore, which is good because they were getting in there and up into the floor of the house. But we don't want them hanging around under here. So here you can see there's another rat in that trap up there, and then further up, further up there, there's a, a third rat in that trap. So I love coming down that wall here. It's dry, it's dark, it's sheltered, and they're hanging around here trying to find a way into here. And uh, if they don't find a way into here, then they go off into there somewhere. So we keep the traps going here, we keep them under control and uh, everybody's happy. So these are all definitely siblings from the same family. They're in the same locality. They're all the same size, the same color. And uh, quite likely we'll get a few more because the three rat traps that I left here each had a rat in them, so they're full. And this is, I, I was here about five days ago. So there's the third rat up there. So there could well be more of these little rats here. I'll go up there and reset that trap in a minute. Yeah, so that's good results. And uh, I do have a few traps further up on this property in the woodshed where we've caught a few rats in the past. And where we've caught, uh, we've got traps in the garage where I caught a mouse this time. But, uh, yeah, typical crawl space, typical scenario. So this customer tended his own traps for about nine or ten months. But he realizes now, after doing that for nine months, that it is work. And you got to plug at it. It's not just an easy fix here. It's a continual thing. So he's got me back and he hasn't got time to deal with it. So I'm happy to have the work and uh, I'll come back. I know exactly the habits of the rats in this place. They come down this wall, they come down the other wall. Real simple, not bad access. And a typical uh, regular customer now. And I'll put the poison in there just as a backup. The previous pest controller left this box here. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'll just put more Tomcat, put more Tomcat poison, Diphasinone poison, into 
of this box and uh, yeah so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for liking and uh, thanks for checking them out my my book the rat trappers handbook and watching these videos and you watch them you absorb and uh, you can start up your own rat trapping business not that hard spend a hundred bucks on traps a couple of jars of peanut butter and uh, some cinnamon and set your traps up properly and uh, advertise your services uh, and then learn as you go and as you learn you become more valuable as a rat trapper and you can put your prices up and uh, it's a good business to be in because rats are not going to go away anytime soon neither are mice Okay, so that's three rats for this customer. After this, I've got to go across the street and check another customer where I am sure I will have more rats in her garage because we got three or four out of there last week suddenly. Uh, yeah, we got four from there last week. And uh, I'm sure there'll be a few more up there today. After that, I've got another customer in this neighborhood to do. And I think I'm going to get the odd rat up in her attic. For sure where I set traps last week she was hearing rat noises in the attic so this cold spell really really got them hopping to get into buildings okay so thanks again everyone and uh, good trapping keep warm keep safe